Hey there everyone, a uh, quick progress update video for uh, version 3.1 of the Community Theme Creator. Um, I'm just going to go straight into the app and uh, cover the features that I've implemented so far. All right, so the first one that I've added, finally, startup shutdown and pause views okay so i actually have them set up i mean it's real basic it was just just for my testing okay there's nothing fancy I shut down and then pause as you can see again nothing fancy all right so you can edit them just like any other view you've got access to all the various uh, metadata and uh, images and just like any other view that you would construct for your theme all right so um so there really isn't much to to go over i mean i've covered this many many times but what i have done just visual tweaks this is not a feature just a visual tweak i've changed all the sub windows um to be a a, a, a blue hue so they stand out from a black background, okay? That's just one of the things that uh, I've done across the board. All right, so I'm not gonna go into how you edit a, a view. You've covered that, I've covered that many times. So I'm just gonna go straight into um, the shortcut here where I can edit the um, theme settings, okay? And that would be the equivalent of going into theme manager going into uh, selecting pyramids and then clicking edit. All right, it's the same, it's the same thing. This, like I said, this is just a shortcut. All right, so I've now added two other options for uh, game startup and game pause, all right? And again, I've followed the um, aesthetic from Big Box. So if you're familiar with theme specific options within Big Box, this will look extremely familiar to you, all right? So for game startup, I want to, um, I want to leverage uh, the, py uh, the pyramids theme and uh, the pyramids, pyramids theme for pause, okay? I'm just gonna leave the default settings enabled and whatnot, all right? And I'm just gonna publish. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this rather quickly because uh, I don't have a house full of children running around. So, okay, so I've published uh, pyramids. I'm actually going to leave the theme creator up in the background. I'm going to run Big Box. That was my intent. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, as luck would have it, last theme in was uh, Pyramids. All right, so PlayStation 2. I'm just picking anything, really. Let's see. Um, SSX Tricky, press enter. I want to play. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to hit escape as our game over. Um, obviously, I didn't initiate pause. In fact, I don't even remember how I initiate pause. But uh, as you can see, I've got the startup and shutdown panel showing up. Um, pick another one. Let's say from PlayStation 1. And uh, wipe out Excel. Hit play. All right. Obviously, I don't use this PC to run my ROMs, as you can see. Um, all right. There's my game over screen. And there you go.
All right. And if I go into um, theme specific options, obviously I'm in pyramids. We go to game startup. As you can see, all the options that I had specified or at least left as default uh, within the uh, community theme creator are represented here. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's one feature. And now we'll go into another one. And for that, I need to... Uh, I don't want to really mess this one up. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go into... I'm going to build a brand new thing. All right, use the source demo. I'm going to pick. Um, it really doesn't matter. But horizontal wheel games view, click edit. And uh, builds the wheel by default or adds the wheel by default and the wheel search. I'm going to select the wheel. I'm going to hit delete and the wheel is now gone. All right, I hit save. We don't have a wheel. I go back into edit. We still don't have a wheel. All right. Now there's a reason for this. Um, a few folks have wanted the ability to um, uh, curve their wheels in a particular way. And one of the properties is missing on the new wheel code um, in big box. And that property is only present on what I call legacy wheels or legacy flow control. Okay. Um, so because I can't, I can't create something that doesn't physically exist uh, on the new flow control. The only option I've got is allow you guys to be able to delete the wheel, which is the new flow control code and add user source. Okay. And the user source will be for the legacy wheel code, all right, or legacy flow control. And that way you can specify that particular rotation or axis, whatever it, I can't remember what the property is, but the property that's missing on the new flow control, um, you can specify it on the old one, all right. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do in here. Um, now, I don't have a block of code that I can paste in here for the old legacy flow control. I'll certainly do that in a later video. I'm trying to go through this as quickly as possible. But to make life easier, um, because obviously, if you add user source in general, um, you, may, you may want it to look one way for the editor, but function as intended for big box, okay, depending on what code you're adding. So to demonstrate that, um, I'm going to create some user source here. Let's increase the font size. And in doing so, what I've done is created these new um, tags. All right. I'm going to insert one more. And yes, I'm cheating. I've got all this stuff off screen. All right. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a, whoops, stack panel. Let's increase this so you can see what I'm doing. Beautify. All right. Beautify again, doesn't matter. So now what I want, I want to say, if I'm running this, if, if I'm using this piece of user source for my theme, if I'm running it within CTC, I'm calling this designer mode, all right? I want to display, I don't know, uh, let's say, All right, let's say foreground. All right, and 
just going to add some more stuff. Okay. And then I'm going to take those two text blocks. I'm going to push them in here. All right. Now, what this is going to do when uh, the community thing creator um, essentially absorbs this piece of user code, it's looking to see if there's any code uh, specific to one one mode or another. All right. So if I'm running in the community thing creator, um, it's going to extract these two lines here. Okay. Um, and ignore these four lines here, all right? Um, and just to make it absolutely clear, I'm going to do this. All right. Okay. So what I'm expecting it to do is to take this one because I haven't given it an instruction to say what mode it's running in. Okay. Just like the stack panel. So it'll include this one by default. Um, and then if I'm running this within the community theme creator, which I am, um, these two lines will be included. These four lines will not be included. All right. So when I hit save, I expect the text from these three lines to be displayed. Okay, which I am right here. So if I save this, and this is horizontal wheel one games, okay, and go and uh, publish the theme. Big box. We're going to select that theme. I call it user source demo. All right. So it doesn't really matter what platform. We just want to get to a game. There you go. I can run in CTC and big box. I am running in big box, me too. Okay. So as you can see, you can now create a single piece of user source and structure it in a way that certain blocks of code or certain UI elements will appear um, depending on what mode you're in. Okay. Or the, the source is extracted based on what mode you're in. Okay. Because God forbid, you don't want a binding value in there to say, I'm running in CTC versus big box because there's some code you might be referencing some code that's only pertinent to the editor and you certainly don't want to reference that particular piece of code when you're running in big box you'll crash all right so that ensures that um uh you don't you don't include something that you're not really supposed to okay so i just wanted to kind of cover um the new mode of uh, user source and how it can be passed now. Let's see. Where's my escape key not working? Hello. It doesn't like the fact that I, I don't have a wheel though. Oopsie. So that's not really uh, the done thing. Okay. So I had to I had to kill big box because I, I didn't define any kind of method of uh, flow control uh, for that view. All right. But for demonstration purposes, that's how user source can be passed and split out um, for either CTC or big box purposes. All right. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that indeed? OK, so going back to the whole flow control issue. Um, you want to delete a wheel, add a piece of user source. The user source will have the old 
flow control or old legacy flow control code but that's not going to run in in uh, in CTC okay not at all all right so the way that you ensure that you don't get a crash in CTC even though that you can check this property to say or uncheck this property to say designer friendly in CTC mode it just won't include it uh, within CTC but I've taken it a, a step further obviously with this so what I can do I can simply say um, if I'm in designer mode make the whole UI element a certain color or add some text to it so it stands out to say I'm a wheel okay um, and then in publish this is where you would insert this is where you would insert and paste your uh, legacy flow control code all right so it would never be included it would never uh, be executed in CTC but you can have some user-friendly text to indicate hey this UI element is the wheel okay that's really why I kind of put this together I thought it would be a cleaner solution all right so I'm classifying that as another feature that you can actually go ahead and delete a wheel now for uh, any given view um, because then that way you can you can add whatever code you want all right I figured it was too restrictive uh, based on some of the feedback I was getting where they wanted curved wheels curved wheels with curved wheel items all right so that's two features and the user source to allow tagging uh, that's the third feature so far all right um, I think other than that I've covered everything else theme specific options um, of obviously being enhanced to include the new uh, startup shut well startup and pause properties and um, yeah there's a couple of fixes here and there but nothing worth mentioning but I just wanted to cover these uh, features so far um, it's only been a week since I last released uh, or since I released version 3 of the community theme creator so uh, there's you know opportunities to add more features uh, make more changes etc all right so I'm going to be putting a early access build um, of uh, 3.1 on the patreon and to those folks that have uh, signed up and and supporting me on patreon I truly appreciate that um, and um, there's going to be more and more content going up um, and uh, you know how to's and all this kind of stuff as I get into the the kind of flow of all this stuff okay so until until the next video take care everyone I'll speak to you soon